We have a vulnerable content management system. The target server, um, as described below, is running a vulnerable content management system. Your task is to fingerprint the application using command line tools available on the Kali terminal and then exploit the application using the appropriate Metasploit module. So they want us to get a interpreter shell on the target and retrieve a flag, which we'll be verifying here. So how many minutes are we in? Still streaming 20, 25 minutes. Okay, so instructions. This lab is dedicated to you. Once you start a lab, you will have access. Your Kali has an interface with IP, blah, blah, blah. The target server should be located at XY3. Okay, so I've already started this one, so I have to click on the lab link and it's going to take me here. And it says that the target server should be located at XY3. Let's look at what we have here. LS minus A. Okay. I have config. So we are at 165.1322 and our target is located at XY3. Alright. And over there we're, we have a vulnerable content management system. Let's do a quick nmap. So nmap minus SV192 165.1323 okay this should take like not too long so we have 80 open and 3306 for MySQL and 80 for Apache so we have a web server running a vulnerable content management system let's see what it's all about we're gonna curl HTTP 192.165.1323 okay we have a location over here login.php let's see what's there login.php quite a lot of stuff in here so what's this a tutor spaces where did it start actually yeah over here so we have a tutor two to one Hmm. Exploit. What else does it say? Using the appropriate Metasploit module. We have a tutor 2 to 1 and we need a Metasploit thingy. Let's see, we should have Metasploit running over here, so let's try MSF console. A tutor. We have SQL injection directory traversal. It's probably one of these two, so this is actually a simple challenge. Let's look for so we're on the MSF console. A tutor. File manager traversal, and we have a SQL I. Which one should go first? I would go with the file manager traversal. This one. Okay, game zone. Let's do the SQL I if you want it. So let's say use exploit multi multi. HTTP 
a tutor. All right, show options. I mean, Metasploit is okay, but I often like to do things manually. So what do we have? It feels like you're actually just uh, running commands and not like trying to get very manual. It seems more like automated to me. So we have a, uh, what we have, remote host, remote port, target URI. Hmm. This might not be the actual uh, uh, target URI. Can we background this one? We cannot. Uh, can I actually run commands? So let's see curl minus V HTTP 192.165. What was it? Let's go back to the very top. One three two three. One three two three. Let's try a tutor. It says not found. Maybe it's on the login thing. Or maybe it's hidden somewhere over here. We'll just have to trial and error. Or maybe it's even on the root of the very top, at the very top of the web directory. Yeah, let's just try that. Let's set our host to our host 192.165.1323 our port is gonna be 80 we don't need proxies alright and we need to set payload to to a meterpreter payload so meterpreter is in I'm not really sure set It's this one. But we don't need the MSF, right? It's that kind of thing. Reverse TCP. Okay. Let's look again at the options. Should we specify the local host? Let's actually try one eighty two one sixty five one three two three actually two all right and I guess this is it. Let's run it. No session was created. This is an incompatible payload. Let's then set our payload. Could I just show the payloads? Alright. That was like stupid of me. So let's do um, multi. Let's do a yeah, let's try with the multi interpreter reverse TCP multi interpreter reverse TCP. This ain't a compatible one. Let's do a generic. Oops. 
wrong key combination. So set payload, control shift V, options, so it's binned. Let's go to exploit. Mm-hmm. Okay. What if we do this one? So sad payload. Okay, exploit. So that wasn't a compatible uh that wasn't a compatible payload. But this one, generic shell bend TCP. Okay, so uh, once again, search a tutor. I guess uh, the SQL I wasn't it. Let's use this one. The other exploit. Let's look at the options. Set. R hosts 192.165.1323 show payloads fellas check out my python basics course to learn the fundamentals of python you need in cybersecurity there's a discount link in the description let's use this one set payload all right Options L host one I eight one sixty five one three two two. Let's try to exploit no method undefined method. What was the payload reverse? Let's actually try a bend one. Exploit failed. Do they need something? Yeah, they they actually don't. Of course. So we didn't set. Uh, this was uh, so the first uh, try with um, with the SQL injection thing. So search a tutor. We didn't modify. We didn't modify the target URI. Are you still here, guys? Um, yeah. So let's actually try to modify the target URI. Let's use, once again, use this one. So use that one. And then uh, use the this one options still there we have the target and then set target URI to this It might actually work. I don't know. All right, look at it. It worked. I can't believe it. I mean, it took that much for this uh, for this simple thing. I it's been it's been quite a while since, uh, like I said, since I used the Metasploit. But anyway, if you guys. Uh, if you guys like this type of thing, uh, this type of live uh, live sessions, let me know in the comments below, and I will. I promise, I'll try to figure out how to actually do it right. Maybe it's only the delay thing, and for this one to to actually start it, I mean, I have a uh, four gig Nvidia graphics card, and I had to actually disable it. 
So if we go to the device manager, I had to actually freaking disable the uh, GeForce GTX to uh, be able to run OBS. So this OBS thing runs with the Intel uh, integrated chipset, which maybe is good, but still. Uh, but if you guys like this kind of video, I'm actually going to try to figure things out and do it more often. Alright, so let's actually finish this. We have the admin hash, and what we need here, get a shell on the target and retrieve the flag. Would the hash be the flag? Let's see. Is that the hash? Failed. So that's not the hash. Maybe we have to kind of decode this thing. Let's see. MD5 decoder. Maybe this one. We don't actually know if this is MD5. We could use Kali right now to check it. Let's see. Are we still here? LS minus A. Yes, we are. Present working directory. Okay, so we have to kind of. Retrieve the flag. Who am I? Dub 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 data. Okay, let's do a bash minus i. Sh minus i. Doesn't want to do it. Let's go back. Let's go back. CD. What's this one? Whoa, there's a lot of stuff in here. Admin, this is the flag. Okay. That wasn't too difficult, was it? Is that the flag? Failed. <laughs> Maybe I have to read it. Cat that. Okay, is this one? Let's see. Oh, finally. But we don't have a interpreter shell. Get a interpreter shell. I don't know if I want to get a interpreter shell right now. Let me try to. Can you. What was it? Control C. No. So upgrade shell to interpreter. Really great website, no bytes is. Okay. Alright, set payload, you're getting the shell, shell to interpreter. I'm still there. So, it was control Z, right, so control Z and then we search for and then if we want to look into sessions minus i we have our session and if we want to get back to the session is session one i guess and we're back into the session or not no we're not sessions minus or sessions one yeah so control z Yes. All right, so search shell to interpreter. 
let's use this control shift V options of course we need the session set session one and then we need to exploit let's see woohoo let's see sessions minus i we have the interpreter so sessions two who am i let's let's uh, get into a shell who am i i should be root i'm not root but i have a interpreter shell let's actually control c terminate the channel yes I'm still in the interpreter we have the uh, interpreter commands we could do help uh, what was it get system was this only for uh, was this only for Windows systems let's see get system get underscore system what was it it would be interesting to do a privilege escalation on this uh, on this machine it doesn't let us So Linux victim, yeah, privilege escalation would be interesting. But anyway, Control Z, background. If we look into our sessions, minus I, or was it L? Sessions, or session. I mean, I'm still in the interpreter. Let's get out of the interpreter. Control Z. Yes. So sessions minus I. Yeah, so we have the interpreter as requested. Get a interpreter shell on the target. They did not say that I should do privilege escalation, so I'm not doing privilege escalation.